Hello everybody. How are you? Long time no see since you guys have seen me. Not that long, a week or two. Uh, so we want to just um, welcome you all to uh, Sapphire Financial Training. Okay? And uh, let you guys know that uh, we've not forgotten about our YouTube. Uh, we have a lot of things to discuss on the YouTube. There's just other things going on outside of YouTube. Um, I also want to let you know that um, I have converted um, the classes into a boot camp because uh, some of you guys will be going back to work. Uh, some some of you guys are working now, so I want the hours to kind of uh, you know be okay with your work your work status. So I don't want anything to conflict. So we flip this into a boot camp. Um, the course is normally 150 hours. Uh, but uh, when you guys send me an email, schedule me for your one-on-one, -on -one, I'll let you guys know. Oh, and thank you everybody for uh, sending me your emails and um, us doing one-on-ones, just letting you guys know um, how the course is, is going. Um, also, uh, when you guys do go on, uh, make sure you click on the Amazon.com button. Um, that's where you can see the book at. Uh, the book, you can, you can look in there and there is actually like a sneak peek type of thing. Um, in Amazon to kind of read my book uh, because we're getting a lot of questions from different schools uh, and the schools are saying you know you know Miss Lambert the students are wanting to jump right into coding and just forget about the billing the billing goes with it uh, you got to know billing before you even jump into the coding um, that's my perspective so don't you know don't say uh, Miss Lambert said you know that's my perspective and what I think um, you have to know something about medical billing because they got rules and regulations on how they want their how they want their claims to be coded. Okay, uh, I do have a little bit of a rough draft here, so I can make sure I do not forget to say anything. Um, so this YouTube is going to be a little lengthy. It's going to be a little lengthy. I'm telling you right now. Um, when we do. Um, begin doing the uh, Sapphire lesson plans, the lesson plans will be lengthy. Um, those lesson plans for about an hour or so, uh, just kind of be ready to take care of that. Uh, so again, um, the Sapphire training course, um, I've converted into a, a boot camp. And when we say boot camp, I mean that it's a quick course. It'll take you about 10 weeks to go through everything. Um, Again, you guys know that the course is not finished. When you take the class, um, it's always open to you. It's always open to you. And remember, the purpose of this class is to pass your CPC exam. Now, the billing is in there. The billing is in there. So those of you who you know are taking uh, courses at a big college for billing and coding, a lot of times they don't stress to you even though you've already signed that FAFSA for $20,000. And trust me, I don't know how much my course was many years ago. In 2007, what was it? I think it was about $15,000. And trust me, they did not tell me that I needed to be certified to be a coder. It wasn't like an in-depth course. I'm not saying they don't do that now. I know some schools um, do have a certification class or you know, they kind of tell you about the certification, but the medical billing, teaching, and coding is totally different than what AAPC is expecting you to pass. Uh, so, you know, this course is different. We go detail for detail. Uh, the plans are laid out for you uh, in detail. If you want to, you know, put that in your backpack, put it in your backpack. I'm saying backpack because in the class, in the discussion board, there is a backpack in there where you can file your stuff in. Uh, there's a discussion board, just like regular college, just like regular schools. You guys have something you want to tell me, put it on the discussion board. Uh, you have things you need to post. You're going to post them to me, files, uh, etc. Okay. Uh, so again, um, if you guys need to email me, uh, the email is uh, lbcfink at sapphirecoding.com. Also, lbcfink at sapphirefinancialtraining.co. And you also can email me at sapphirellbc at gmail.com. And don't forget the website is the same, www.sapphirecoding.com. If you have www.sapphirefinancialtraining.co, it's just going to kick you to the same website. Okay? 
Uh, so let's just look on here and uh, see what else. I don't want to uh, forget anything um, to you. Okay. The um, When you guys are sending me emails, a lot of people ask me, uh, how does the course go? Uh, what do you do? How many hours is that? That's a lot of stuff to, to ask, which I do give you. But when you go into the classroom, okay, th this is how it works. I'll send you an email. You, you make your user ID and you, you go in the classroom. You will see the syllabus. There is a syllabus there, detailed syllabus. There is a course description there, a detailed course description. There is a class introduction there. There is also a class outline there. And trust me, Miss Lambert is so detailed. I, I, you know, when they do my eyebrows, you guys see my eyebrows start going black because I was, they was like, you know, King Kongish. Uh, the, the girl who does my eyebrows, she is so detailed. She just, she won't quit and you know, you're ready to go. But anyway, I make sure that the plans are detailed because you're not going to be like my grandson, grandma, what, where, when, every two minutes. I don't have to micromanage you, not in my class. Everything is there for you. And your course outline is how many hours. It's telling you when I'm going to be on YouTube. It's telling you what are my office hours. My phone is there. The lecture hours are there. The one-on-one -on -one hours are there. The uh, consultation hours is there. I have so much stuff on your course outline that you do not have to email me and say, Miss Lambert, where's XYZ? Look at your syllabus, and that's all she wrote. Uh, you don't even have to print it. I dropped the syllabus in a web page. Put the web address in there, and you can get it. Um, if you guys choose to have some of your work emailed to you, no problem. I will email it to you. Um, but make sure you keep up with it. Make sure you remember your password into the class. Um, so let's start off with uh, remote learning. Uh, I'm hearing a lot about, you know, September. What's going to go on in September? And just schools and colleges in general. You know, yeah, it's still scary. It's still scary. You know, you don't even know um, what's going to go on you know, in September. And uh, you, lot of, you have a lot of schools that some of them do a hybrid. That's uh, half online and half in the school. Then you still have teachers that are scared. I'm scared too. I, you know, I'm not even going, you know, lie. I had to turn many things down because I just, you know, it's, you know, well, we're going to do hybrid come, you know, September or October. And then uh, that's right there. I'm sorry. I, I can't help you. But what I will do for a lot of the different schools, because I do a lot of research on different schools. This is what your course is derived from. I go into different sites and see what they're giving you. I go into different sites and see how much it costs. I go on my own college and see what I taught my own students. I go by when I went to college and see what they taught me. So I've got a lot of ins, ins and outs um, to put into this course, trust me. I didn't just wake up and just start writing this stuff. This is years and years and years of stuff that I have derived to develop this course. I've developed this course back in 2018, and it's just it's just getting better and better. Uh, the first uh, derive we did was in 2013, and then we actually launched it in 2014. And it was nowhere near like what it is now. Any of my students that was in my class when we first started, uh, send me an email. I will open a class to you to come back. Any of you who may have... Uh, passed your CPC or did not pass or you guys need more or you guys are working and you guys need to upgrade shoot me an email let me know okay go on the website you can get all that uh, www.sapphirecoding.com okay so you know again you know the remote learning is that might be what's going to take place that, that that I think that's what's going to happen because people are scared and you know like people in your wildest dream you would not think would pass away from uh, something that you've never heard of before. You don't know what's going on with it. Uh, or gone. You should see the people on TV. It's like sometimes I just, I don't know what to do. It's like, oh my God, you know. I, sometimes I tell, you know, my grandson, you know, he get flamboyant. Don't, you know, grandma, huh? No, you need to put put the mask on, you know. I made a, struck, a special trick to make sure they had mask packs in their pocket. You know, I don't care if they go downstairs to the store when they're, you know, when they're at home. Uh, but again, you know, the remote learning, um, if you don't know how to do remote learning, yeah, they have to teach them how to do remote learning. Um, it's hard to come from traditional school and just jump right into remote learning. 
Uh, I don't teach people how to do remote learning. Uh, when I was uh, the director of uh, my school down in uh, North Carolina, I, I didn't have to teach my teachers how to do online coding because uh, my regional director had already introduced it to us. I just kind of expanded their program and just kind of merge programs together so my students can get more out of their program and just try to give them more stuff to learn the uh, medical assistant students and the medical billing students. You know, it's a whole different course, but I wanted the medical assistant students to also get some of the billing stuff. So I had that, uh, those two classes merged and uh, it worked out, you know, not the whole time. So, you know, uh, again, uh, they were able to do the remote learning at home, especially when we didn't have school or, you know, sometimes there was uh, reasons why we had to close the school or, you know, emergencies or whatever may happen. But um, now I think it's essential, of course. I believe that, uh, especially after my grandson got straight A's, um, I, I really thought it was a lost cause and I didn't feel like they were learning anything. But after I looked at, you know, what they were giving him and, you know, spoke to the teachers and stuff like that, I felt a little better. And I don't know if all teachers, you know, speak to the parents verbally because they don't know. I mean, they're scared of yourself. You're a teacher. Me, I'd be the first one. What? You know, I said, what, what did you teach my grandson? What? what? He, I call him, he tell you finish already. You know, and um, my grandsons are very bright. You know, my little one, you know, he's bright too. And, uh, you know, they're just glad it's over. But I think the remote learning is what's going to go on. You guys, my whole class is remote learning. There are days where there are live sessions. If you cannot get in on the live session, you must archive it. If you do not understand the live session uh, and you have archived, archived and you can't answer, can't ask me a question, I can't get back to you just like that, you have to send me an email. Um, because you're not going to decipher everything. Uh, trust me, I will get back to you. I hear stories from everybody. Oh, I'm doing a remote learning and I emailed my teacher. She doesn't even get back to me. And I'm so scared I was going to fail the class and I didn't get the grade I was supposed to get. Wrong teacher. I get back to you as soon as I can. I have three days for open office. Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. Wednesday, there's no class on Thursday. There's nothing. Wednesday, Tuesday, and Thursday from 12 to 1. Uh, you can to talk to me in the classroom and discussion board. There's a special class that I created just for me to interact with you. You, you guys are going to post to that class. Okay. So uh, remember, your, your 